Alright guys, you know, after work, I'm heading to the hospital, uh, Beta Yuan, Beijing University Hospital. And uh, the reason why is because one of a friend of mine from Germany as well, he had a pretty crazy motorbike accident Saturday a week ago. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to visit him, check on him, what's going on. And yeah, if you stick in China, there are no doctor shops or family doctors you can visit. You always have to go straight to the hospital, you know. And this is actually also the hospital where I go if I have some health issues, you know. But um, in my case, I have special private Chinese insurance, so they cover everything up to a certain amount. I mean, if it's accidental, then they cover actually everything. And in this hospital here, they have direct billing, so I come here with my passport and uh, with the insurance card and then uh, I don't have to pay anything it's direct billing because normally in China you know you need to pay for everything in advance the doctor checks on you and then you need to pay first and then further checks and if you want medicine you need to pay first everything inside at the counter it's I guess now the office is closed it's just for accidents now open I mean let's see if I can get some footage in there as well so those are the counter on the on the left side they even have the ADM machines here as you can see, it's pretty big actually, the model of the hospital. Normally it's so, like during the day in here, all the people come. It's so crazy and crowded and noisy. Like, check this out in there. They have the infusions because also Chinese when they're sick they straight away fever cough something sore throat they they always get this infusion stuff there. good some English stuff is also on here some people barely speak English but when I'm here and I need to go straight up to the sixth floor, there's some VIP area. So I avoid the crowds actually. Seems he was moved to the ninth floor. But as you can see, like the mold on the ceiling. It's pretty crazy. It's in the rooms everywhere, corridors. Wow. So guys, this is a view from the Beijing University Hospital to the north. A couple of buildings also where they belong to the hospital actually and yeah this is how a nice filthy Chinese hospital looks like. Bathroom? Actually yeah it looks like a ordinary bathroom in an apartment right? Some wet room. As I said he got moved. There's the there's the warrior. But also here you can see, you know, it's not as moldy as the other ceiling on the seventh floor, but if you go out, you can see it clearly everywhere. You know they also have a shortage of beds, I don't know. I mean there's a bed empty in here, but people are lying also on the corridor, like Felix was also lying on the corridor earlier. So another different thing to hospitals in Germany first of all 
you've seen how it looks like, but then you have a flat TV hanging on the wall, and then you don't get any food. Yeah, check out this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Voila. Voila. So back to the food. So we have tons of flyers of some restaurants which are nearby. So you have to order by yourself and they deliver food to you. On the seventh floor there was even like it's usual that um the husband or the wife they or some family member they sleep with you in the same room so they get a small bunk bed and then they're staying with you they can take care of you. Yeah. Nice, is it? All right, finally leaving here. Not finally, but it's, it's getting late, and the last bus is at ten. Back home. So one last thing. I don't know if you guys noticed the other Chinese in the room with Felix, but he's actually. Um, a helper, you know, he's 24-7 around Felix and uh, he's helping him getting dressed, ordering food and something like that and I uh, asked the guy and he's actually, he's living in the hospital so he's working at his home and uh, he, has a, he also has a son Son is 16 or something like that. <clears throat> Seems the sun is also coming sometimes and uh, uh, helping him out or working there. And his wife is also <laughs> living and working in the hospital. So that's another thing. I mean, he's not a nurse, he's just a person who might help people who don't have any relatives here. Yeah, that's China. Short impression of some actually a hospital with a good reputation. So long, fellas.